Hello everyone and welcome to MX Gaming Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a review at the request of one of my subscribers by the name of Finn Flash, who's asked me to do the Tactical Escort Retrofit. So, Finn, this is for you. So, now as we all know, the uh, Retrofit is a design off the Defiant class. And as soon as I make my way to Lieutenant Laurel, I'll get we'll get the stats on the ship. And oh, wrong person. We'll talk to you in just a moment. All right. So get a new starship. So it is an escort class. All right, and I believe it is a vice admiral ship. Yes, yes it is. Alright, so here we go. Four stats we have. A Commander Tactical, a Lieutenant Commander Tactical, an Ensign Tactical, a Lieutenant Engineering Station, and a Lieutenant Science. For consoles you have three Engineering, four Tactical, and two Science. So it's kind of a nice round balance uh, between them. Uh, for weapons you have four four, sorry, or four in the front, three in the back, Base hull of 30,000, sorry for a second here guys, uh, shield modifier of 0. Point, uh, sorry, 0. 0.9, a base crew of 50, base turn rate of 17, impulse modifier of 0. 0.20, inertia rating of 70, uh, device and two device slots, uh, because this is a, um, a escort, you get plus 15 power to weapons. Uh, can load cannons obviously and this one comes with the cloaking device um, now I'm not really going to be showing the cloaking device to be honest because um, personally I feel that the cloaking device should already be on the ship and not as a console um, that's just my opinion on that but anyways um, you can purchase the ship for 2000 Zen um, it's it's a it's a pretty decent ship. Um, the I have I've just a slight issue with the bridge officer seatings. Um, I think the ensign tactical really isn't needed or warranted. That's my opinion. If you have a different opinion, I would love to hear it. Um, I would prefer an engineering or a, another si or another science or um, if there if if that's the case have three engineering or three tactical have um, in, or increase the engineering and the science uh, to lieutenant commanders at least um, but that's just my opinion I would love to hear uh, your thoughts on that anyways continuing on I am going to um, you know what the ship customization is I don't even know if it's worth doing a thing on it. This is this is the um, uh, Sao Paulo variant. I mean, this is it's it's the Defiant class. It's a retrofit, so it's it's very much like the Defiant. There's no difference. There's nothing really changed on it. Um, but let's okay, cancel. Yes. Okay. There we go. Having a moment here. All right, let's talk to Lieutenant Laurel again, and let's let's see here. Uh, yeah, we gotta get rid of all this fun stuff here. So, Vice Admiral. So, yeah, that that looks exactly like the Defiant. There's there's no difference, I don't think. Well, let's see here. Uh, you get it at Captain, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, they didn't even change. Yeah, there's no change. So the Defiant, it's it's the Defiant. So I I I think I think that's another drawback is if it's a retrofit, it should be there should be, there should be some minor changes to it um, to make it look like there's a difference. I think even the fleet variant. Is is the fleet variant the same? Uh, yeah, 
I I don't even see much of a difference in the fleet variant. So I'm yeah, I don't even think it's the fleet variant is is worth it cuz it has what 33,000 base hull. So that's not too too bad, but um you know, and it, it gives you an extra tactical console. Um but yeah, I'm I'm sorry guys. Um I I'm kind of disappointed that there's not really much in here to um talk about in the ship design because it is quite similar to the Defiant. In fact, it is the Defiant. Um, so, let's see here. Um, so, we're going to continue on. Um, I'm going to look at my loadout here. I threw on the qua the phaser quad cannons that I got from the Sao Paulo or the Tactical Escort uh, refit. So those are on there. Um, I have the dual heavy cannons, um, accuracy with critical damage times two. I have phaser beam bank uh, with accuracy times two and critical hit. Uh, my transphasic rapid reload torpedo. My uh, Mako, my Mark 12 Mako set with the Obelisk subspace rift warp core. I still have issues saying that. Anyways, um, my phaser turrets, accuracy times two times damage, and this one's critical damage, critical hit, and damage. I should probably look at changing these two um, just because. And then I obviously have my kinetic uh, cutting beam, uh, devices, the usual shield battery, and subspace field modulator. Uh, engineering consoles, uh, I have my neutronium alloys, these are all purple, and my field generators, again, only blue, because purple is like 43 million, and then uh, tactical consoles um, are the phaser relays, all blue um, at the moment, uh, the purple ones are like 3.2 million, yes, it's easy to get, you know, 3 million, um, but I really ha I've been working on a lot of other videos as of late, so um, I'm going to be doing uh, quite a bit of uploads. Um, even probably by the time I upload this video, there's pro I I've probably uploaded a, a bunch already. So um, so I've been working hard on a lot of other projects. So <clears throat> anyways, continuing on for stations. Um, this is this is where I don't like having the third tactical station is because um, it seems like I overlap on uh, boff powers. So for my commander, I have type uh, sorry type I can't speak today. Torpedo high yield one, uh, can rapid fire one. I should probably change those so I at least get uh, high yield two. I might do that. Uh, tactical team three and Omega Pattern 3. Uh, for my Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station, Beam Array Overlord 1, Torpedo Spread 2, and that's it. And for the Ensign, I have a uh, Tactical Team here. So, like I said, this is this is where I, I get, you know, really, really, uh, What's what's the word I'm looking for? Uneasy when it comes to uh, more than 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 two uh, commanders or even engineering's or science, uh, because I don't know where to put or, or how to figure out the the powers. Um, pro probably with with science and engineering, I might be able to figure something out. But tactical, um, it's kind of it's. It, it's very difficult to figure out the powers. If if uh, if any of my viewers um, can s uh, give me some suggestions or pointers, I would greatly appreciate it because I always I always have trouble with my with my boff seating when I when I get three um, tacticals. Anyways, for my uh, engineering, I have engineering team one and uh, power to shields two. And for science, I have hazard emitters and transfer shield strength. Um, so there's that for oh, traits. Yeah, all I, I I got all the. Well, this one's not a Borg one, is it? 
No, that one's not a Borg one. What is that one? Is that from Nakara? Let me see here. Do I have Nakara? Yeah, I do have Nakara. Yeah, okay. I even also have Romulan, too. Okay. And I'm almost at uh, Dyson. So, um, today's going to be different when it comes to my SDF. I might be doing. Um, I'm not doing Borg because I'm pretty much finished with Borg. I have pretty much everything that I want from the Borg set, so I'm good. Um, so, I think. I might try. Um, species 8472. Or I might do, uh, yeah, I'll I'll do probably this one. I did one and I was I was completely baffled by how it all works. Um, so I um, I was watching another uh, person that I've subscribed to, um, Brent Justice. He was doing one. It looked like a, um, uh, an adventure zone area with the ships. So that looked kind of cool. So um yeah, I, if if I can get in to do that, that would be that would be cool. So anyways, um babbling. So I have uh the omedic kinetic shearing which does 40 plus 40% 40 damage bonus dealt to a DOT over 6 seconds. Um what is that? damage over time. Okay, that's what I'm thinking that it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, I get precision from the uh, Romulan thing, and that is plus four critical hit chance. And then here's the Graviton Amplifier. So this one um, really do need because this helps with my um, Graviton ampli uh, Graviton uh, thing because of my Mako set. So that gives me to target 2.5% chance to deal one, oh, sorry, 11.3 kinetic damage with 100% shield penetration on directed energy attacks, double damage versus Borg, 5% chance to trigger on torpedo and mine attacks. So that's pretty cool. So this is the uh, Nakura set here. Uh, your directed energy attacks ignored, ignores some of your target shields in space combat so ignore five percent of your targets shield with directed energy attacks so that's pretty cool there and then uh, I think that is yeah that's a that's a um, a ground um, trait there um, I have also plus ten percent accuracy um, uh, space trait is crippling fire 2.4 accuracy penalty inflicted from a critical hit with crippling fire and then evasive 10% defense and let me see here let me let me let's look at the personal traits here um, uh, that one doesn't really work in my favor there oh living hull increase hull gener Ooh. okay so I really like how they've changed the traits where you can actually change them almost on the fly. You can't really do it in uh, uh, when you're actually in combat, but um, no, it's it's pretty good uh, that you can change it. So um, I can get rid of that one for now because we're doing a lot of space. Um, Okay, so, and then, okay, so take that off, and I know I don't really use go down fighting all that much, but, um, that, that's, that still, that still works in my favor, so, um, what I throw on here, I did living hull, so it increases my hull regeneration, so, plus 0 0.05 health regeneration in combat and plus 0 0.1 health regener regeneration out of combat so not too bad you know gives me a little bit of a boost and then this one is hull repair hull plus hull and plus regen so plus three starship hull repairing so it improves hull re 
healing, so that's really good. Um, I think, yeah, so that just work core potential, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to go with this right now. Um, and then this one does plus 100% damage resistant from go down fighting, so that's pretty cool. So, there we go. So there's my, uh, those, those are my space traits. And, uh, yeah, so that should be good. So there's my stations. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to pause the video and try and get into the adventure zone. And uh, and I'll, I'll come back once, uh, once we're closer into the area. All right, so I finally figured out how to get into a battle zone. you 10? Oh, that sucks. Alright, well. So it looks like they're closing off that rift. Getting some major lag here. Whoa, that was not cool. Point is secure. Okay. All right, I'm going to follow this crew over here. So what I expect from the Defiant is a nice um, fluid flying. Whoa, what the heck was that? Okay. All right. Whoa. Okay. So where are we going next, people? Whoa. I have no idea what the heck that loud boom is. I just want to see this, so I got eight from that, fifty-five from that. Oh, okay, so that's not too too bad. Wait, am I the only one here? Uh, nope. There's another guy over there. Okay, so how am I supposed to do that? Okay. As you can tell, this is my first time being here.
Okay. I take it that means that we have are closing this rift. Point is secure. Alright, okay. So, now, head back over here, kind of do a double back here. I can't see if that's a friend or foe there. Oh, there is a fight going on over here. Now I just come just at the last moment. Ah, oh. well that sucks. Okay, well, that's okay. Alright, so there's a point over here. So looks like they've got this area covered too. There's a lot going on here, so I'm getting some lag. I'm really liking the dual beam banks on on these ships. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. All right. Well, we have what? One more area to go, and that's like, halfway across the map. Oh, blood. Oh man. Yeah. There's there's more than just uh, um you know five people in here so that's pretty cool I really haven't done any adventure zones oh what the heck is going on don't know why I keep getting things popping out here Leroy Jenkins, woohoo! All right, 
Hear that, people? We got ten minutes. Oop. Really? Oh, man. That's probably like the most deadliest place. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm not even in range? Jeez. Alright, Graviton Beam, go! Oh. Okay. Just gotta keep up on my powers here. Alright, get out of Doge. Alright, so I guess where's the next one? Ooh, hello. Do I got something going on in the background? Maybe that's what it is. I got I don't remember anything playing in the background. So I assume this would be the next one to go after. Uh looks like that one's destroyed too. All right. All right, so where's the third one? Okay, so there's something not right there. That one isn't fully destroyed yet. Okay. What did these other people miss that I don't know about? Uh Oh, okay. Yeah, I know our weapons can't penetrate. Uh... Oh. Alright, so where's the other one? 
Okay, right. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to figure out what's going on in the background here. Jupiter Force is a fan fleet of stoked radio of the next generation, the ultimate Star Trek Online podcast. Started at the launch of the game with the original podcast, Stoked, done by Chris and Jeremy of Jupiter Broadcasting, Jupiter Force is a very large and active fleet within the Star Trek Online community with many different gamers and Star Trek fans. Jupiter Force has many knowledgeable players available to assist you, whether it be in PvP with build help, creating a Foundry mission, or looking for one to play through Jupiter Force's Foundry Files podcast, running STS with experienced players, and many more areas of the game, even if you're just looking for a group to play with on your gaming weekends. Again, Jupiter Force is a very active community, looking for active members to join, which is why we have potential members apply and go through a one to two week trial to make sure members are a good fit for our community. Once accepted, you'll have full access to the fleet banks and holdings of our Tier 5 Starbase. Being an active member can mean posting on our forums, joining our TeamSpeak server, chatting in our game chat, or running missions with fellow fleet members. Members are expected to be on their best behavior as well when representing the fleet to the public at all times, as this is not just a fan fleet, this is also a production fleet for Stoked Radio. Joining Jupiter Force, you'll also have the chance to assist in creation of its podcasts. Even if called upon, whether being doing research for the show, gather footage for a specific topic, or even hosting a segment live on the air, there are many opportunities within Jupiter Force, whether working on the show or just playing the game with fellow Trekkies. Visit us over at jupiterforce.org for more information and drop an application to apply today. We'll see you out there and make it stone. Okay, so we're back. I closed a browser, so if that's not it, I'm going to be a little concerned. Alright, so we got four minutes to destroy this sucker. Let's get it done! Woohoo! Despite the lag, um, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. Seems pretty cool. Ugh, oh man. Oh, look at the leg. I lost my ship. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's awesome. Oh, this is going to be fun. The Voth? Oh, so not only do we fight uh, uh, Species 8472, you also have to fight the Voth for some reason. That's a little weird. Okay, well. Okay. All right. Yeah. Where are they? 
Oh, there they are. Wow. Well, despite the lag, um, ship is doing very well, and that's because um, we have a lot of assistance. You just spawned a Miranda class frigate. He's got two of them. That's awesome. They're like little pets. Oh, that's cool. I've seen the Borg probes, but I've never seen the uh, Mirandas. That's funny. All right, let's go after this guy. Oh, wow. Ooh. That was kind of a silly move. I should have just stood where I was. Ooh. Oh, that was... That was hurtful. That hurt. Alright, let's get these shields up. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, look at those shields just go. Holy jeebus. This leg is brutal. Are you sucking energy from me? I don't think so, buddy. Okay, let's do that. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Now we got uh, two and a half minutes left. Whoa! Oops, sorry, I accidentally hit my mic. That's a huge ship. Ooh, ah. Oh, man. Oh, man. The Voth are dick to energy weapons, my goodness. Oh, get out of dodge, get out of dodge. Oh, that was close. Are we done? Because we got like a minute and a half left. And that was a pretty big boss ship. Nope. Whoop.
Wow. I don't you know what to be honest, I don't think I've experienced this much lag in Star Trek Online doing any sort of mission. So but you know what? I the lag is worth it. Probably the amount of marks I'm gonna get off this is gonna be insane. Enemy. It's this enemy over here, I can't see. It's not showing up. Whoa, okay. This should be the last assault. Wow. I love the turn rate on on this ship. It's very very fluent. But like I said in my other um uh my very first uh tactical escort uh class uh I really wish it would uh flow ni as nice as it showed in the show where you know we kind of like you know rocked back and forth and you know went up and down um some more for conjecture okay um you know that that would be cool but unfortunately the the I guess the physics in Star Trek online just don't work that way all right so anyways folks that's the review on the uh, tactical escort retrofit um, I'm sorry that uh, the design was very similar to uh, the regular defiant um, I am using the Sao Apollo uh, Sao Paulo uh, variant um, or the uh, I guess the skin um, but uh, anyways it's it is worth the 2000 Zen to get um, it is a good uh, it's a, it is a tough little ship I'm gonna tell you that um, as you can see there um, you know I did get some some nasty hits and uh, but I was able to uh, to recover very nicely um, so it is like I said it is worth getting um, is it the best no is it great yeah I think it's great so anyways guys that's my review thank you for watching live long and prosper and we'll see you out there.